In this video, I'm going to cover the top quantum computing stocks that you should start keeping an eye on. But before we get into it, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. They provide great investment tips and stock picks for people at any experience level. And I've teamed up with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their stock advisor. Their average pick is up 863% compared to 173% for the S&P 500. Just scan the QR code or check the link in the description to get your 10 stock picks right now. All right, let's jump right on in. In this analysis, I'll look at analyst ratings, revenue growth, market cap, and cash flow to find companies for this list. If you're already familiar with this way of analyzing stocks, feel free to skip ahead right to the results. If not, stick around to learn so that you can do this for any future analysis. Now, we'll start with a list of companies developing quantum computing technologies. I have just the watch list for that exact type of stock. However, since quantum computing is still in the very early stages of development, quantum computing stocks can be highly speculative. And for this video, I'm not going to be looking for companies that are operating on the ground floor. Now, you may have heard of companies like D-Wave or Rigetti, but for this video, I'm looking for companies that are more mature and have the capital to develop this type of technology. So I'll first start with analyst ratings. In a nutshell, analyst ratings are what Wall Street thinks about the particular company, rated from a strong sell to a strong buy. And I can limit the results to moderate buy and higher. I'll also look into their sales or revenue growth from their last annual report. The ability to grow sales means that the company will have a better chance of consistently funding their quantum computing efforts, right? So only companies that have reported a 10% or more growth rate will appear on this list. Then I'll limit the market cap to mid-cap companies and above. And last but not least, I'll look into the company's cash flow growth from its latest annual report. Cash flow is a crucial metric in this case because it shows how much money the company is actually generating from its operations. Strong cash flow means the company can sustain its research and development efforts, expand infrastructure, and keep its operations going even when times are tough. And believe me, with how sophisticated quantum computing is, they're going to need a lot of money to see their developments come to fruition. So for this analysis, I'm going to limit the results to companies with only those that have positive cash flow. By the way, this screen is powered by Bar Chart. I use their stock screener every single day for research, whether I'm making a video, writing an article, or just for my own portfolio. Their website gives you all of the basics for free, so if you'd like to support the channel and try it out, feel free to scan this QR code or check the link in the description. Okay, so let's hit see results and see what comes up based on the filters that I used for this review. And as you can see, there were four. I'll then arrange them from highest to lowest cash flow, and then I can talk about the top three. All right, so let's start with the first one on the list. It's NVIDIA. So with the AI evolution in full swing, NVIDIA has been reaping the rewards of being one of the most trusted chip makers in the world. Other companies racing to develop and improve their AI models get their hardware from NVIDIA, and NVIDIA has been putting the money to good use. In terms of next-generation technology, NVIDIA has announced its interest in quantum computing and aims to secure a leadership role in this next technological frontier. To accelerate its entry, NVIDIA announced its opening of a dedicated quantum computing lab called the NVIDIA Accelerated Quantum Research Center, or the NVAQC. The company has also partnered with a number of pioneers in the quantum computing field, as well as academic partners like Harvard and MIT. NVIDIA plans to use its excellent high-performance chips to boost the development of quantum computing into viability and eventually commercialization. This move represents a significant cost to the company, but thankfully, NVIDIA's war chest 
is more than ready. During the last year, NVIDIA's net cash from operating activities jumped from $28 billion to $64 billion. That's a 128% increase year over year. What do you think about that kind of growth? Let me know in the comments below and, of course, leave a like while you're there. Next on the list is Amazon. Now, yes, we all know Amazon as the retailer and web services provider, but did you know that the company has been making headways into the quantum computing world? Just last month, the company unveiled its prototype called Ocelot, and it's a quantum computing chip. The chip was the product of the AWS Center for Quantum Computing in Caltech, which itself was launched in 2019. Now, Amazon has stated that one of the biggest issues with creating a quantum chip is to keep it reliable. Amazon has said that quantum chips can be significantly affected by vibrations, heat, electromagnetic interference from cell phones and Wi-Fi networks, or even cosmic rays and radiation from outer space. Error correction is then added to the initial design to mitigate the effect of these issues and keep the data produced safe. Amazon's Ocelot chip was made in reverse. Error correction is built into the chip from the get-go and not as a product afterwards. The company claims that doing this may significantly decrease manufacturing and quality assurance costs, taking us even closer to a market-ready quantum chip. Now, to push this technology forward, Amazon would need resources, and they absolutely have the money to do it. If you have any doubt that tech companies are racing to the quantum finish line, then this last company will absolutely convince you. Just last month, Microsoft announced its Majorana One chips, which use the world's first topoconductor. Topoconductor, or topological superconductor, is a special type of matter that can create a new state of matter. Now, I could go on and on about what are qubits and why topoconductors are the next best thing in quantum computing, but we're here for the stock review, so I'm going to try and keep this light. Essentially, Majorana 1, which is the name of the quantum chip, represents Microsoft jumping ahead of the queue on who gets the first commercially viable quantum computer. Now, to be clear, this breakthrough is still considered in the fundamental research phase. The company will now how to figure out the nuances of engineering, programming, scaling, costing, and other considerations, just like any other product, before they can prove that it works. So Microsoft still has a long way to go before they can claim that trophy. Quantum computing may not be commercially viable right now, but that doesn't mean that the technology isn't enough to warrant an investment for the future. The companies I talked about in this video are already large, mature companies that are market leaders in their respective fields. And with how fast tech develops these days, I wouldn't be surprised if the announcement for the first market-ready quantum chip comes within the next few years. But what do you think? Will you invest in quantum technology anytime soon? Leave me a note or a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. And of course, if you did happen to find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss anything from my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.